Hey brothers and sisters in Christ, had to do a uh, new, on my old account I did a mystery update, took it down, did a new one. Um, I'm doing a new one right now. They're, both my accounts are up and running. My old account that I found, God blessed me with getting back into, I started updating and putting all my videos on there. And then I finally, I didn't even get a word. I didn't, my main account got taken down. No emails, no red flags, no copyright, nothing. Nothing just taken down. Then I opened up a, uh, I forgot what you call it, like a ticket as it were, to say hey what's going on here, let me know what I did wrong so I can avoid doing it in the future type thing. And they came back, They my account came back on, I was never notified that my account came back on and then I had, when I actually went into my account, it sent me to a page that said uh, Basically, a lot of accounts got accidentally shut down and that you need to check everything to make sure everything's good. Because, in other words, we're not responsible for any damage to your account, basically. Um, so, my main is back up again. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to keep my main account and I'm going to use my secondary account as backup. Um, I'll keep it updated with the videos I do. Uh, put in, they're not going to be exactly the same because some of them have different videos from other brothers in Christ. But um, I thank you for the prayers of everyone that was praying. You know, I was, it hit me hard, not because it couldn't be replaced. God said, hey, you know, try getting into your old account. And I did, and by God's grace, I was able to get into it. That account was barren as far as not even being touched. And gosh, a year, two years, because uh, with my seizure disorder, um, I completely forgot the name of the email address that's the, the Gmail address that's the name of the account. And just out of the blue, God's like, try this one. And I typed something in I never would have thought to type in, and put in a password, and it let me in. So it was discouraging, and I thank the brothers and sisters in Christ out there for... Um, praying for me and everything, and praying that God, you know, fixes it, and God did. Uh, just remember, I prayed with the Lord, and, and God with the Lord, and, that the, we're one body with many members, so there's only one ministry, I believe. That's just, people can fight me on all they want. There's only one ministry, God's ministry. Many parts, many members, but one ministry. And the ministry I believe God's called me into is... I've talked about before, words have meaning, prayer ministry to really motivate the brothers and sisters in Christ to pray for one another and to stay in prayer and talk with the Lord all the time about anything and everything. Your prayer life is second, it's almost a tie with your Bible reading and Bible study. You talk to the Lord about this. Okay, what am I reading, Lord? Help open this to me. I mean, prayer is so essential in everything you do as a Christian. Prayer is a, is a good foundation. Uh, Jesus is the foundation, but if you know what I'm talking about. Um, so prayer is a big thing that I'm trying to push in my ministry. And the third thing is encouragement to the brethren. There's times where I'm going to make stands for major doctrine. I'm going to make stands for the Word of God, the Bible version issue. But my hope and my goal and the ministry that God's let me be a part of, His ministry, is to encourage you brothers and sisters in Christ out there to have more courage to stand for the Bible version issue, to stand for the Godhead, the true gospel, the pre-time of Jacob's trouble, uh, eternal security, dispensational teaching, Yes, I want you to have courage for that, but for me it's a little bit more day-to-day -day living courage that I'm trying to encourage you with. Uh, your struggles with the flesh, your struggles with the lost world, your struggles with professing Christians, your struggles with family members that are lost. And yes, you I know it seems like it shouldn't be, but you can even struggle with brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, people who don't want to give up their sins, you're trying to correct them with love and they get mad at you. Um, it's just, I always pray every day that, you know, the Lord helps me with my struggles with sin, and I pray that He helps you with your struggles with sin. Um, but my main three points right now for the, the, for the minist God's ministry He's allowed me to be part of is, words have meaning. Um, my whole life I was told this word means this, or that word means that, and I parroted 
And the uh, biggest thing you're going to hear me say is PWCs. I was a PWC. <clears throat> it's, uh, brother told me this. It's called a parrot won a cracker. I was parroting what other people said and never took time to look into it myself. I was totally deceived on the definition of a lot of words growing up in the Babel buildings. It's supposed to be a Bible building, but they're not Bible buildings anymore. They're Babel buildings. And they kept saying, this is the, what the definition of this word is. That's what the definition of that word is. And the biggest example right now going around is the word person for the Godhead. Uh, they try, they, first they replaced the Godhead with Trinity, and they will... They will use deceptive words saying, no we're not, no we're not, yes they are. The Bible word is Godhead. You get Trinity out of your vocabulary because it's not a title for Jesus Christ, Godhead is. You don't replace the title for God with Trinity. But they come out with person. You know, a person is someone who has a will and emotions and, and they come out with all these definitions of their own for person to justify saying God in three persons. And I was one of those people. And I looked into it and I realized, wait a second, person doesn't mean what I've always been taught. Person is so, as a, a person is someone who has a body, a soul, and it's always referred to someone who's living, a spirit. So a person has a body, soul, spirit. Throughout the whole Bible you read it, he, she, his, person is always someone who has a body, soul, and spirit. Now, sometimes God is referred to as His, or He, but it's referring to Jesus Christ. Jesus is God. Jesus is, and it's not revealed to us in the Old Testament, but in the New Testament it's revealed to us that Jesus is the He that's being talked about there. Jesus is the only person of the Godhead. But when that hit me, it wasn't just that, it was other words like repent and repentance, which I'm doing a study on right now. People say it has to mean this and only this. So it's not just that people have the wrong definitions, it's people think that there's only one definition for a word. When there's multiple definitions, you've got to get the context of the word to know what definition it, that it's talking about. Okay, repent has different definitions, as we're finding out. Um, and you've got to look at the context, and they don't want to look at the context. Believe it or not, brothers and sisters, I'm learning a lot from my word studies, just as much as I'm trying to show you what God's shown me. Okay, I'm learning a lot. Uh, to not take people's words at face value, you know, to look at the words, to look at the context. So a big part of my ministry is going to be words have meaning. I'm going to continue to just grab words and just slowly go through and do word studies. Find out where the words are, look at the context, Sometimes you got to get the story, sometimes you don't need to have the whole story. Um, but get the context of that word and say, okay, this is what the context is. And you go through and you go through and you realize that words have multiple definitions. Which definition applies in this context? So that's going to be a big part of the ministry here. <clears throat> and I don't have a ministry name, just Philip Newton or, you know, Brother Philip. And the second part is prayer. Uh, people have had sisters and brothers in Christ say that I'm, I'm being an encouragement to them because I talk about prayer a lot. Because we need it. We need it so much. Um, I am blessed with being able to pray and have the courage and the time to pray with the Lord all the time. And I motivate people. If you're working on the yard, talk with the Lord while you're working on the yard. If you're at work, with me, it'd be hard for me to have a job at work. Um, I'm medically retired. To have a job at work and talk with the Lord, I'd do it. But people would think I'm crazy because because of the seizure disorder and everything. I don't I don't want to really blame it on that. I want to blame it on the fact that I'm just passionate with talking with the Lord because I'll talk out loud. I'll be walking on the beach and I'll be talking out loud without realizing that now I know I do it and I don't care. I love talking with the Lord. I'll be sitting on the deck, and the next thing you know, I'm probably talking to the Lord in my head, you know, in my heart. And the next thing I know, I realize I'm talking out loud. I do a lot of talking with the Lord out loud. Um, so I just motivate the brethren to pray, you know. Talk with the Lord all the time about anything and everything. Take it to the Lord in prayer. Uh, one of the good songs we have is, What a Friend We Have in Jesus. Um, Take it to the Lord in prayer. Always take it to the Lord. Everything. Your joys, 
your happiness, the peace that He brings you, the thanks you want to give Him thanks in all things, the glory in all things, the troubles you're having, your struggles with the lost world, your struggles with the flesh, things you would like to have, things that you need. You take everything to the Lord in prayer. And today, especially today in the end times, we definitely need to be praying for one another. We need to be praying for the body of Christ. That's why I did an um, email address and want to start out doing a video once a week with prayer requests. Okay? I want to motivate the body of Christ to get prayer requests out there saying, Hey, I need prayer for this. That person needs prayer for this. You know, Prayer, prayer, prayer. It's so important. And then the third one is encouragement. Um, God has given me so much encouragement, but I didn't really understand the joy and the, the wonderful, feeling, wonderful feeling I have in my heart when I'm being encouraged by the brethren. When I threw out a couple of videos, I started out with that rock study, uh, word study rock, which wasn't the best, but it was my first one, and I was able to put stuff in there that was gave more of an... Uh, pictures that gave you more of a understanding of the falsehood of what we get when we were taught growing up. Um, one was Moses when he uh, struck the rock the first time. People just think, you know, a little bit came out, but it was gushing like a river. You know, there were so many Jews that needed water and the animals and everything. It was like tons of people. But it was my first study. Um, but still you had people going, you know what, thank you for doing this, and thank you for taking the time. And I'm not trying to say I'm patting myself on the back, but that's encouraging to me to say, I'm not, what I'm doing is not in vain. I'm not failing, I'm not wasting my time, I make mistakes. But I'm not, it, doesn't, it makes me feel like I'm doing something for the Lord, and I'm doing something for the brothers and sisters in Christ. So when I get that encouragement, it started hitting me and saying, Lord, I need to, I think the word is redound, maybe. <laughs> the encouragement that I'm getting from God and from the brothers and sisters in Christ, I'd like to reflect that back at them and say, hey, I want to be able to give you guys encouragement. Uh, I want to give the, the brethren encouragement. So uh, the ministry is back up and running. It was kind of. Um, so my main account... Uh, will be the account that I've always used. It's got the most subscribers, which isn't much, which is fine. I'd rather have 50 subscribers. I still watch the videos. Looking, Someone taught me how to look at the analytics. And the average, like some videos, I said, Lord, thank you. You showed me a lot, and I think I did really good on that video. And I'm not patting my back. I'm just saying I was able to get the point across that what you taught me was amazing. And I sat there, and... It'll have like a hundred views. The video is 50 minutes to an hour long and I'm sitting there looking at it and it's like the average watch time is 15 minutes. And I understand that if you have 10 people that watch it all the way through and, and 90 people that watch a minute, then it's going to drop it down to like five minutes average watch time. So I know, I believe in the brothers and sisters in Christ out there that they're watching the whole video, but it's just the, the numbers don't mean squat. They just, they really don't. Okay, you could, you could have a thousand people watch your video, they click on it, think it's something, a minute or two later into the video that's an hour long, they just click on something else and go to another video, and it counts as somebody who viewed your video. To me, that's not viewing a video, watching it all the way through is. There's times I'll watch a video to a point and go, okay, I'm done, this person's teaching falsely, uh, make a couple comments, and or just, if they reject truth, preach the gospel to them. Um, like I said, this ministry is not about mainly calling out wolves in sheep's clothing. I might show videos of other people doing it, like uh, reposting their videos here. But for the most part, it's to encourage the brethren. Um, so, like I said, the account that I'm going to be using is, they're both <laughs> Philip Newton, um, but uh, I'll try to link it down in the uh, not comment, it's subscrip uh, subscription, the, the part where you subscribe, uh, you describe, you know, you can put words in, I always put verses and everything in on my videos to encourage people, um, I'll put what one's my main, which one's going to be the alt, so if the main ever has problems, 
there's the alt you can go to. It'll have the same videos. I'll be uploading both on both, which means twice the time <laughs> of uploading. Um, but yes, brothers and sisters in Christ, uh, the Lord blessed me. I kept telling myself, all things work together for good to them that trust God, to them that are called according to His purpose. So God wanted it taken down. It was taken down. And I thank you all for your prayers. I thank you for your encouragements um, to encourage me to continue. And I just, hopefully I can get you guys involved a lot in the uh, prayer part of the ministry. Um, giving prayer requests. And I added testimony. I forgot about that. If you watched the video, God was talking to me and I kept hearing testimonies from brothers and sisters in Christ that were amazing. And I felt it should be shared with the body of Christ. Testimonies can be a big encouragement. Big encouragement. Testifying, hey, this is what I was going through. This is what God did to get me out of it. Testimonies. Now understand that people can give me testimonies about your salvation, how you got, how God saved you, how you got brought to salvation, um, how you got brought to your knees through biblical repentance. Um, but mainly the testimonies I'm looking for is testimonies in a life as a Christian. You know, your testimonies and struggles with the world, with the flesh. Testimonies of good things happening. Oh, we wanted this and we don't know how, but God got it for us. He's amazing. It was a blessing. It could be something, not always something negative that you overcome, but something that you're thanking God for. Uh, we have a refrigerator. It's always working. It's making noise. And we didn't really need a new refrigerator. It just... We always were afraid it was going to give out on us, and we just kept praying. We couldn't afford one. We kept praying, and somehow, so-and-so was getting rid of their refrigerator because there was nothing wrong with it. You know how people just want new, new, new. And they asked us if we wanted it for 50 bucks, and we took it. God gave us a blessing. You know, it could be a testimony like that to let people know that God's still blessing people left and right. He's blessed He's what I call overly blessed me, okay? I don't deserve one blessing the Lord has given me. And I've made mistakes. I look at my past and uh, as a as my lost life, but mainly even my saved life after I got saved, I was a mess for two, two and a half years. And I look back on everything that I struggled with and fought the Lord on, and I look at the blessings I have today. I get teary eyed because I don't I don't deserve any of those blessings. Okay, it's it's the Lord. It's all the Lord. So, ministry update, both of them are up and running, and we're going to have a main and a backup, and we'll continue to get as many videos out as we can, weekly prayer videos, getting prayer requests out there, testimonies out there to encourage the brothers and sisters in Christ, and I want to do my best to stay in the studies. Uh, it tends to slow down when I get family to come visit, and uh, when I get my daughter, I try to spend a lot of time with my daughter, but God still always comes first. Okay. God always comes first, so I will continue to try to put out videos. I'm trying to enjoy the outdoors, as you can see right now. Uh, it's, today it's very hot. When there's no wind up here in the mountainside, even if you're on the coast, it gets very hot up here. When there's wind, yes, it gets cold, but it's weird. That's what living on the coast is about. In the shade, with the wind, it gets really cold. In the sun, wind or not, it gets hot. So if there's no wind, it's kind of hot in the shade over the sun. It just gets hot out here. So I'll continue to do videos outside as long as I can. During the winter, it's going to be mostly inside because there's a lot of rain going on. And it's very cold outside. But uh, I love my brothers and sisters in Christ out there. I love you guys. Uh, grace and peace be with you from God our Father and our Lord Jesus Christ. And my love be with you in Jesus Christ. Okay. I love my brothers and sisters in Christ through Jesus Christ. Right. So, thank you for watching.